Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Man Corps. Today's episode is going to be covering a topic around how men and women communicate differently and really actions as opposed to words. So if you are new here, the Man Corps is a community for men digging to the core to find out who it is that they really are and what it is that they really want to become. Please subscribe and join the community to help build better men for the future and click the bell to be notified for future videos. I post a shitload of videos and I want you guys to be able to, uh, you know, digest and get as much content as you, uh, as you want. So, uh, again, click the bell and, uh, that way you'll be notified for future videos. So men and women, we communicate differently. That's not something that I'm telling you for the first time. You know that. But, you know, what we're going to talk about today is really how they are communicating differently and some things that you should just be watching out for or leery of when you're interacting either with other men or things that you should be weary of and aware of when you're dealing with women. So, you know, like the old adage, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Can't live with them, can't live without them. I'm not here to solve anybody's fucking problems, but you know, I'm here to kind of try to simplify uh, communication styles so that way you guys can really understand where uh, women are coming from. And you know, I'm, I'm by no means an expert, but you know, all I have done in the past five to six years is read book after book and you know, spoken with uh, tons of women that I know just about you know, communication styles, the things that they prefer, the things that you know they really respond to and to really get a better understanding and perspective about where they're coming from and to be totally honest with you it's it's really just that so you know men we are we are very direct you know we're purpose driven we have a a very linear logical brain and a style of communication you know it's kind of point a point b point c and that's just how we operate and it, it's how we're designed it's how we're wired it's how we need to be um, to achieve to accomplish to pursue uh, to go after the things that we want. That's, you know, that's really just in our DNA as men. So we're not going to change that, but we're going to try and do is, is adapt to, uh, learn, you know, how to, how to better communicate with women who are coming from the very opposite. So women are very, uh, non-confrontational. They're very dance around the truth. They're very, uh, you know, they second guess themselves. They're not certain that not as certain as men are, um, not as, as confident as, as men or as congruent as men are, you know, that's, that's not something that, uh, is, is a secret to you, I'm sure, you know, but you have been in many of the interactions with women where she says one thing and does another. And, you know, what we're going to talk about today is, you know, not only communication styles, but to really, you know, look at actions as being, something that is the real cornerstone in all your communications, even if you're dealing with people or even when you're dealing with other, other guys. So again, you know, men were very linear, logical, were very direct or, or tend to be more direct and women really appreciate that. That's, that's something that they need that they don't have and, and they're not able to do. That's, that's what really attracts them to guys uh, who are very direct and, um, you know, really decisive. That's just not how they are. Well, that same guy could be all confused because the woman that he's dealing with said one thing and did another. Well, that's likely because he's talking to her like she's another man. And that's his, that's where he's going wrong. So this is why we're doing this because you need to be aware of what you're dealing with here. You know, women, they like to, by and large, they like to kind of dance around the truth. They don't like to, and they, they've, they've had to learn to be this way. You know, they're, they're not as confident, they're not as sure of themselves, and it doesn't mean that they're bad people, that's how I'm going at, get, getting at, but it's a form of protection. They've had to learn how to, you know, protect themselves by either not hurting your feelings or, uh, that's, that's really it. I mean, they're, they're just, they're, because they're emotional creatures, they're just trying not to hurt your feelings. So that's why it's like real bad idea to try and go get any relationship advice from them. Because to be honest with you, they're going to tell you what you want to hear. I'll oh, be the nice guy, do this, do that. They're going to give you a load of horse shit. And, you know, it's not what you want to listen to. So, because again, they, they don't want to make you feel bad. They don't want to make you, uh, they don't want to hurt your feelings. So where a guy is just going to tell you like, you know, quit being a pussy or, hey, you should do this, this, and this. And it's even, 
something that you should be aware of in terms of what relationship advice you're getting because if if you're if you're seeking out relationship advice from from other men but you look at his relationships or you see how his woman responds to him if that's not what you want then don't listen to his advice either but i'm getting off track here so men are more direct women are they tend to dance around the truth and what what's important when men are dealing with women is that though she may say something what what women say they want and what they re emotionally respond to are two very different things and a lot of times you know women don't often know what it is that they're attracted to uh, themselves that that's why you oh i'm confused i don't really know what i want or i'm not really sure where i should be right now i'm not sure if this is the relationship i should i mean there's a lot of just confusion there's a lot of uncertainty and that's why they look to to men who are direct decisive and kind of pierce through and get through with the real truth of things uh that's why they're really drawn in because they just you know they have a hard time kind of sorting that shit out on their own they're kind of all over the place right so you have to look at her actions so if she says you know oh i'm not really sure about you or i don't really you know i'm not really attracted to guys like you or i don't really go out with guys like you if that's what she says but her actions are showing you something a little differently you have to go with the actions if she says you know oh yeah i'm i'm interested or i am uh you know I'm, I'm really into you, but you know, her actions show differently, then you have to believe her actions. If she's just kind of going, going along with it, if her, if what she's saying doesn't match what she's doing, for example, if you're pursuing a girl and she says, yeah, she's just kind of going along with it because it's common for guys to like project their own attraction or their own fantasies on other women. I mean, it's just, we do, I mean, women do that too, but like if we see something that we want, we kind of, we, because we're achievers, we're doers, we kind of like project our own attraction, our own desires on other people, assuming that they're coming from the same place, right? So she may just be kind of going along with it, but it's happened to me too. But what, what I'm saying here is it, if it seems like she's just kind of going along with it, but her actions don't really go along with what she's saying, you have to look at her actions. If she's not calling you back, if she's not texting you back, if she's not going out of her way, I mean, you know, the reality is, is that when women like you, they help you. They, they go out of their way. They make it easy. That's why they wear the makeup, the high heels. That's why they, you know, the, everything that they do is to try to get your attention. And those are the actions that she's going to take if she actually likes you. You know, she's going to put herself in her orbit. That's action that she's taking. She's going to reach out to you. She's going to respond to you. She's going to send you a text message. She's going to start the conversation. Again, those are all actions that she's taking. You know, even if she said, I'm not attracted to you, I don't like guys like you, um, you're not my type, I'm not really looking for a relationship right now, even if she said all those things, but her actions speak differently, I'm looking at the actions. And, you know, where guys come from, what we say is what we should mean. And we stand by that. We, we need to be congruent with that. So if I say that's what I want or that's who I want or this is where I'm going, there's a kind of a linear straight line to it. It's just like that's what we're going to do. We say it, we mean it, we do it. Well, you know, because women kind of dance around the truth about it, you have to look more at their actions. So, you know, if a guy's dealing with a girl and he's frustrated because her actions don't match her words, it's because he's trying to have that linear conversation with her and treat her like a guy. And... It's confusing to guys, but that's because he just, he hasn't gotten out of his own way. He hasn't gotten out of his own head. Women don't, they don't communicate that way. Um, if you've ever seen a table of women at, at dinner, there's like 12 of them talking at once. You know, that's very normal for them. They, they talk a lot more than men do. And you know, for them, it's very therapeutic. There's just, to, to a guy, it seems very chaotic. But um, it doesn't have a, a strategy. There's no... There's no point A, point B, start, middle, and end of the conversation like there is when you're at a table with your buddies drinking beers. You know, it's, it's very normal for there to be just one-on-one -on -one conversation or for one person to be telling a story that goes from A to B to C to close. Women, like, th there can be 12 stories at once, and for them, that's orchestration. That, 
and it seems crazy even while I'm saying it, but it's true. So you can have like all this like emotional crazy shit going on and they're all drinking wine and cra that to them feels as natural as when guys are having beers at a table next to them and having the A to B to C conversation because it's very strategic, it's very linear, it's very projected. You know, women, because they're like the weather, to be honest, um, they, can, they can change at any moment. Well, if, that, if, if the weather is talking and it changes at any moment, then it's, it's gonna have a lot of fluidity to it. And, you know, guys, we don't operate that way. We, we're very, you know, we're very strategic. We're very focused. We're very planted in what we mean. So to give you even um, a, probably a better analogy, so think of, think of men like mountains and think of women like the weather. So the changing t or, or like, a, uh, like the ocean, the changing tides, the changing weather, the, the flow of emotion, the flow of things, flow states, the changing of things. Um, you know, how things feel, how they look, how they sound, how they smell. The mountain just sits there. And I don't mean sit there like a fucking bump on a log, but it, it's, it, it's, it's unchanged, it's unfazed, it's the unmovable mountain. And it's very strategic in that it doesn't move and it doesn't change, it's the only constant, right? So women are going to be not only drawn to that mountain, that place of strength, that place of uh, sturdy, grounded, congruent, confident, like grounded place. That's what they're drawn to. And men are really attracted to, you know, the free flowing, the free spirited, very feminine woman. The, the mountain finds that uh, flow of motion, that fluidity, very attractive. That's what that's what men are really drawn to. Me personally, uh, the more that I get in my masculine, and the more that I get more grounded and more congruent, and more to my core uh, masculine essence, the more I'm drawn to women who are really more free spirited, and you know, kind of maybe a little bit more of their emotional selves. Um, and when I get away from it, so when I'm operating more on the emotional side. I tend to draw on some, some girls that are a little more on the butch side. So um, obviously I'm putting a vibe out there w when I'm doing that, that uh, is a little bit more consistent with how a woman acts. So by virtue of that, she's not going to, you know, uh, feminine women aren't gonna really respond to that. Not it, at least from an attraction or a, a sexual desire standpoint. They're not gonna like really be sexually attracted or, or respond to another woman. I mean, maybe some are, but uh, by and large, you know, it's going to be the girls that are, or the women that are a little bit more on the butch side. So when you act that way, or, or when you're a little bit timid or shy, or, and you're dancing around the truth, and you're, you know, an emotional basket case, and you're acting like the weather, the changing tides, the flow of emotion, the flow states, when you act that way, you're not gonna attract feminine women. They're, they're gonna be repulsed by it. Um, much in the same way if, and you have to think about, think of it in your own terms. You as a man, if you're attracted to, to, to feminine women, uh, the, the, the free flowing feminine women that I was talking about before, if that's what you are attracted to, and I would think you know most are who are watching this, if that's what you're attracted to, and then all this, like if you, if you have three of them or four of them that are all, you know, like standing in a group, and then all of a sudden, like there's a one, there's like one butch girl that comes up and either she like interrupts that little group or she comes up and starts talking to you or she starts hitting on you, you're like, I don't, I'm, I'm not into it. And that's, you're, you're, you're kind of repulsed by her. You're like, I'm, I, that's not my type. That's not really what I'm into. Um, you know, it would, it would, it would be a big turnoff to you because you, you're attracted to, you know, the free flowing, um, emotional flow states of the feminine woman. Well, that's how she feels when you act like, and communicate and your actions speak like that of a woman. So the less directed and less focused and the less masculine, the less mountain presence that you have, 
the less she's going to be attracted to you and the more that she is going to test you and, and um, see what you're made of. But always look at the actions. You know, the actions of a mountain are what? That it doesn't change. It's, it's, it's planted, it's solid, it's congruent. It is unfazed by the weather. It is unfazed by the, by the water. It never moves. Well, that's the same thing that you have to look at and the same way that you have to be in your decisions in life and in how directed and focused you are and how planted you are at your core. And the more that you become in tune with that and the more that you dig to your core to figure out who it is that you are and putting out that masculine presence, the more you're going to be attracted, attractive to members of the opposite sex who are in their most dominant female. Um, members of the opposite, that, you know, we're attracted to members of the opposite sex who really display equal parts of our, our exact opposite on the sort of the polarity scale. So if I'm extremely masculine, and that's always what I'm striving to, I'm always going to be, you know, or, or attracted to the, the, the extreme feminine. And, you know, there's, there's polarity there. Think of it like a, I had my arms wrong there, but think of it like a, like a north and south, right? So whenever there, and it could be opposite. I mean, if I'm like, let's, for the sake of the video, let's say that I'm, I'm an extremely feminine, but yet still straight guy. Okay, well, it could still be possible that, you know, I'm still attracted to women, but I mean, I'm going to be, she's going to be like a, like a bull cut fucking football coach, um, probably, you know, played on the line. <laughs> I, I, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just, again, because of the polarity, because I'm in my super feminine as a straight man, which is weird to say, and then she's going to be in her, you know, um, feminine masculine. It's not natural and it's not where, where I'm, I'm coming from. I mean, that's not what's natural to me. We have both and I've talked about, you know, vacillating kind of between both to have a good balance of, of uh, energy. But again, you know, you're going to be uh, attracted to the most dominant members of the opposite sex and where that is on the polarity scale. If you kind of have a little bit of both and you kind of go back and forth, you're going you're gonna to be attracted to somebody who's kind of around both. She might move more into her masculine just as often as you move down into your feminine or whatever, you know, or vice versa. So the further that you get away, the more masculine you are and the more masculine presence and um, traits and characteristics that you have, the more that you're going to attract uh, women uh, or members of the opposite sex who display more of their feminine um, qualities, characteristics, traits, things of that nature. So anyway, talked about a lot today. But at the end of the day, men need to act like the mountain. Let the women be the flow of the weather and the ocean. And learn to appreciate that, that dance, if you will. In the, superior, in the Way of the Superior Man, which is a book I recommend, highly, highly recommend uh, for each and every one of you. Um, he talks about learning to, to fall in love with the dance of the changing tides of women. And there's, there's a lot of truth to that. This is really where this analogy comes from. So get the book and um, be the mountain. Look at the actions of what people do. Uh, make sure that what they say is, um, is backed up with action. If they are a, a man that you're dealing with, whether at work or, or you know, your neighbor, um, if it's women, you always have to defer to actions. Her actions, her words may meet her actions, they may not, but the default position is to always look at her actions. You can't go wrong, you won't, uh, it won't fail you. I promise you look at the actions. So thank you again for watching. Uh, please do like the video, share the video and add your comments below. If there's a problem or a challenge that you would like me to cover in a future video, uh, please do share it here on the comments or send me an email at the at gmail.com. Also, please do share the channel with anybody that you think would be good contributors here at the main Corps. We are striving to build good members, good men, and good members of the community for the future. Thanks again, fellas. I have to run, but uh, cheers.